All right, today is going to be just basically final touches here and there. And uh, all right, everybody, I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. All right, I cut it, cut out a pattern uh, out of the uh, piece of paper, and uh, I'm just going to trace it out here. And then I can keep the uh, pattern the same on both sides. Okay, I've made a clay blank or piece, and I'm going to try to line it up with the top of the uh, beadwork. Okay, I'm just going to touch up the uh, beadwork with a serrated edge tool just to finalize it. I take care of any blemishes that I put into it, putting it on. Just going to touch up uh, the beadwork that runs down the one side of the uh, pipe bag. Then I'm going to put little divisions for color. And I want to make them all the same size. Just uh, under the chin, the clay got a little bit screwed up, so I'm going to even that out a little bit. All right, I'm going to put the uh, end wrap on the uh, bottom of the quill. Now these would be trade cloth wrapped quill ends or bottoms and uh, I'm just trying what I do is I pre-made them all the same size and now I'm trying to put them on here and uh, make them look like they are wrapped. As long as I've got it here, I'll, at this angle, 
I tilted the uh, clay so I could see this part of it a little more clearly. I'm going to touch up the uh, feathers a little bit. I'm happy with that. Now, I've got the uh, clay softening up and let's see if it's soft enough. Yeah. I'm going to just put a little jab of clay right here at the bottom where those armature ends and or go into the clay and uh, just make it look like the rest of the uh, headdress. Okay, I just uh, have to connect the uh, tied areas. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. That works out just fine. All right. <clears throat> I've taken off the uh, ermine and I'm going to start texturing them. I'm just using this serrated edge tool that I got from uh, Sculpture Depot in uh, .NET. And uh, I'm doing it in kind of a curved stroke instead of a straight down stroke to make it look more fur-like. Now I've got the other four done. I think it looks pretty good. I put some indents into the uh, fur to make it look like fur. All right. I'm going to line these up and get them all the same length. No, well, that's good. Okay, I'm going to line it up with the uh, cloth tie. Looks good. Just got to make sure I get the uh, side with the uh, fur showing. Whoop, fur's on the other side. Looks pretty good. I got to work on that uh, tie area. Now I got to do the other side. Okay. I'm just finishing up this side. And uh, these are the uh, trade cloth wraps at the end of the. Uh, Ermine. Now I see a couple of areas where I've got to, to do some fixing up on his face. There we go. little holes
All right, I, I say I'm pretty much done with it. I like the beadwork on it. I think that turned out good. The arm and hand and the texture of the uh, ermine. All I have to do now is sign this piece and copyright it. A life honorably lived. I'm proud of it. If anybody's interested in purchasing one in bronze, just let me know. Oh, I'll, by the way, uh, as a PS, I'll see you guys next week. Good night. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next, but uh, I'll figure it out within the next few days. Hopefully. All right. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.